about this 1000 watt inverter to use with our 12 volt lithium batteries. Let's go ahead, take it out of the box and see what it comes with. And this is what's in the box. It comes with a set of alligator clips, positive and negative, of course, to go on these little connectors on the inverter. It also comes with the 12 volt accessory plug that you could also use on that for the inverter. Of course, there's the inverter and it comes with a manual and some extra fuses and stuff. So that's cool. And this is the inverter. It's got two AC ports on the top, two USB ports. Looks like it's got a little, you know, LCD ish type of display there. On this side, two fuses, positive and negative from the 12 volt and a fan. And this side, two 12 volt accessory ports. Those are, you know, just pass through, of course, because they're 12 volt. They're not really converting anything. So the conversion goes on with the 120 volt here on the front. And that's the inverter. So let's go ahead and use this, see how well it works. So this is what I've got hooked up here. So I've got a 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium phosphate battery. I've got a battery monitor and a shunt all connected to this so we can monitor the power going through the battery. And then I've got the inverter here connected to the positive terminal of the battery and the negative terminal of the shunt so we can get a good reading. Now, right now the inverter is you know, attached, but it's not turned on. I don't have the AC inverter turned on. So it's really just acting as a pass through, but it still shows you, you know, battery voltage. It thinks the battery is 13.1. This one's actually saying it's 13.3. I would expect this to be more accurate because it is a fully charged battery. So, you know, it, it's close. Now an AC inverter is going to use at least a little bit of power. So when we turn the AC inverter on with nothing plugged in, we're getting a little over four watts of electricity being used. So, you know, you can expect about, you know, four watts or four watt hours being used over an hour period of time from the inverter by itself, which, you know, that's about normal. Some have a little bit better efficiencies, but you know, it's, it's about normal. So we're going to now plug in a dehumidifier that has a compressor and everything in it to this to see how much power it's going to be pulling out of this inverter and if this inverter can handle it. So to monitor the actual wattage being pulled from the inverter, I'm going to go ahead and just use this, you know, kilowatt thing. It's kind of old, but it still gives me a good reading. It's going to be displaying upside down because of the way the sockets are. I'm going to put this on watts. If you click on volts, it was showing it's at 116 volts, which is, you know, good voltage coming out of this. But I'm going to go to watts. And then I'm going to plug in this dehumidifier. So the dehumidifier powers up, but it doesn't turn on. So the display and everything's lit up. It's not using any watts because it's just a display, but I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Okay. As you can see here, the wattage coming from this. 300, 360, 350. And that's typically about what it's going to run three to 400 watts to run this dehumidifier and seems to be handling it okay it's not getting warm yet no issues i mean it definitely drops a little bit in voltage that's normal no fans even kicking on yet so yeah looks like it's handling that 300 uh, watts almost 400 watts of power with no problem i can definitely see up here it's using 450 watts of power but on this one, it's using right about 400, 396. So there again is a little bit of inefficiencies. There's a little bit of power loss in the conversion. Again, it's somewhat normal. Looks like it's running it with no problem. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. Wattage is kicking back down to around 50. That's just because the fan runs to kind of cool it down. Now, one thing I do want to say is, although this says it's a 1000 watt inverter, that's actually its peak. So it's a 1000 watt peak inverter. The manual actually says continuously it's 750 watts. So this is technically a 750 watt inverter. That's what you would run up to that continuously, but it can peak out to a thousand watts for a very short period of time to overcome issues like, you know, compressors on an air conditioner or refrigerator, something like that. So you should be good as long as you're getting, you know, under 750 personally. I always try to run well under the max. So for me, I would probably not run anything more than like a 500 watt appliance off of this. Um, but it's up to you. If you want to run it at the full 750, it should be able to do it. It's just going to get warm and the fans are going to run. So 
but yeah, I think it's a good inverter if that's what you're looking for and uh, should do you fine. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all take care.